Tonight's such a special night for me. Uh, I'll never forget the very first time I wrestled Rob. Uh, after that match, we both realized that we were really onto something. And uh, every match, it was our goal. We wanted to make sure we gave the fans something they'd never seen before and then something that they would never forget. And you did. And uh, we played rough. I swear, every other match, either he or I or both of us were busted wide open. But uh, we wouldn't have had it any other way. Uh, even after AJ Styles went to WWE and he wrestled Rob, he told me, he said, you know what? He says, getting hit by Rob is like getting hit by a Buick. I said, that is the perfect way of putting it. <laughs> but uh, and I, I just ran into an indie wrestler in Texas just a few days ago, and he said, I just met Rob. He said, I was surprised how big he is. And I told him, I said, yeah, because it's very deceiving. He's built, he's big, he's thick, but he moves like a cruiserweight. I mean, he is one of the most, if not the most, gifted athlete I have ever been in the ring with. Yeah. RVD, 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 RVD. But that is what makes him so special. And that's why I always thought the title of his DVD was so spot on. Because Rob is one of a kind. So, it is an honor, it's a privilege for me to induct into the 2022 Hardcore Hall of Fame, the whole other show, Fuck TNA! 
Chris. Yeah! EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub. We made you! And you know, I always answer it the same because in WWE I made the most money. I made me the biggest worldwide superstar. That's pretty awesome. TNA Impact Wrestling because of the schedule. That was the easiest fucking job ever. <laughs> and then, when it came to ECW, that's where I had the most fun. Find me as a wrestler through my entire career. Uh, it was 95, Sabu was wrestling here. And uh, yeah, by the way, I want to thank Sabu for always encouraging me to be myself. and to not do anybody else's shit. Uh, he was trying to get me here in ECW and every few weeks in 95, he would call me and he would say, did Paul call you yet? I was like, no. Motherfucker, he was gonna call you. Hold on, I'll back. And then several weeks would go by and I didn't give a fuck, because I was working for All Japan. Yeah! yeah thank you, Baba. Uh, I was in a really good position where I could already, at that stage of my career, pick and choose where I spend my time. And uh, he kept, you know, did Paul call you yet? No, fuck. Uh, <laughs> during that time, I started, I mean, I started checking out ECW. I made it a point to look for it. Of course, it was like, 2 a.m. I think on the Sunshine Network. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I'd never seen anything like that. It was just, uh, it was just incredible. The, uh, the unapologetic violence in, in the superstars and in the just that whole adult aspect and the fire and, and of course the main. Quality was the crowd. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The ECW crowd set the standards and they were at least half of the show. So I was a little intimidated. Actually, I was very intimidated coming here in 96. I was 25 years old, just by a couple weeks. Oh, what? Well, yes, it is my birthday.
which turned out to be pretty successful for me. Thank you. Yeah, hey, all of it, man. I had so much fun thinking outside the box, being creative. Thank God Paul Heyman uh, allowed me the freedom to grow and the right tutelage to make sure I didn't grow in the wrong way. And uh, as everybody knows, uh, that, by the way, the worst chant to get back then, being 25 years old and intimidated and trying to get over was, you fucked up, you fucked up. Oh, it was that, it was that, it was the fear of that that actually pushed me, but God damn it, you pushed me all the way to the top. Thank you for that. And, uh, you know, when, when we brought ECW back to WWE, uh, I truly felt like the build-up for that particular match was my entire fucking career up to that point. So, uh, hardcore forever. spirit of ACW, whether you were one of us wrestlers, or whether you were one of the fans back then that supported us, or whether you're someone new that's been turned on to that energy and caught ECW, wish you would have been back there. Either way, all of us know it can never fucking die, because it's so good. ECW! EC Duck, EC Duck, EC Duck, EC Duck, EC Duck, EC Duck. For those reasons, I'm very honored to get this Hall of Fame induction. I'm very grateful for my time at ECW, uh, my entire career by ECW the most. Grateful for you, motherfuckers. Yeah.